So we'll go to the projects folder and uh, we'll go to food donation and let's start the NPM start. Okay, now Okay, let it start and then we'll start. So here is my app. So we are done with this uh, search part, result part, and uh, you will be doing the account page and uh, uh, account page on weekends. And you will also make a delete button. Also, you need to make the edit button like we create it, you should be able to edit the post also. So maybe you can add edit button also and try it if you can do that. Now let's see what is pending. Maybe we can add one more feature that user can add more details. Maybe it's age, gender, and all. So we will do the profile, user profile today. That means he can update his profile and he can add more details if he wants to. So let's create a profile page and build a profile page. So I will go to the Okay, let's go to the let's go to the project. So I'll build one profile page. So let's create a So I'll create one more file and I'll name it as profile.js. The user will be able to add the profile, his update the profile, maybe his uh, gender, his age, and all the details. We will put it here. So let's create the component here. I'll put the profile. 
and the profile profile let's create the url to update the profile so i will go in the routing and i'll create one url for the profile so i will say profile profile import profile from components profile.js and uh, so we have this profile and uh, let's see let's go to the navigation and let's add the profile part so where we have this sign out part i will add one more link of profile I'll keep the key. I will give the key of uh, four number, and here I'll say my profile, and it will go to the profile. Within the show user, and you know how it looks. So profile dot js does not matches anything on the disk. Okay, so we have to make case upper case. So here, here it is capital profile. So let's see now. Okay, so I can now see my profile, and this is profile page. And now, uh, let's uh, build a profile form. If I go to this Bootsnip website, I can I can create the form. There's a form builder. So if you want to if you want to easily build the form, you can build it here. So for example, I will text uh, label input text input. I will create one 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 field called as email and placeholder will be enter email i will build the form and then i'll use this one so email is something i will say it's required okay i don't need help desk so first will be the email i will build the form here and then i will i'll go there and put it there so second will be first will be the email second will be uh, maybe i'll say display name and uh, i will add i will go on adding the fields first is the email second i will put display name i'll put one button also and uh, let's put email and let's edit this one the id for this will be display name label will be display name placeholder will be enter display name help text will not be there it's required and i'll save it and this one also i will require it and i will put id as uh, email save it button will be id will be submit and text will be nothing button label will be update profile okay so i added two things let's add uh, radio button so here i will put uh, option 1 as mail and option 2 will be email and value will be mail value will be same as a uh, name 
email and table will be gender table will be gender name will be gender so here i'm putting gender let's add some more fields to update it it will be email this display name gender and what we can add more age let's say put a age So let's put the age now. It will be text input. <coughs> so this will be age. Help text will not be there. Required will not be there. And uh, and here I will add one more. Let's say if you don't want to put anything, so we I'll say yeah. Let's uh, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so either male or female, user has to choose. Okay, so now let's see what more we can add. Any more suggestions on the profile? Maybe what else we can put? Okay, yes, email is there, display name is there, gender is there, age is there. What else? Can you suggest anything? Okay, favorite food. Yeah, favorite food is also good. I'll add that. Any other? Okay, one is favorite food I will add. Any other? Any thought? No, no thoughts. Okay, let's add the favorite food. Ah. One second. Ooh. Let me add the favorite food. Cool. 
नहीं खोलने का नहीं है ओके लेट्स ऐड वन फेवरेट फी यू नो वी कैन ऐड एज मेनी वी वांट लेट्स ऐड वन Okay, so here is the favorite food. The label will be placeholder will be enter your favorite food, and I'll save. Okay, so these fees are enough for now. I will view the HTML. and i'll get grab the form and i will go here in the profile and i will add that form okay so i did the form i need to edit some things here the so first thing is i will delete all the comments then i will go and update the class class name okay let's see now how it looks on the page so there is some problem input tag is not closed with the proper ending tag so let's uh, enter the email and here also i will add this one ending tag ending tag is they miss the ending tag okay so i am done with the ending tag let's see now so line number field set Field set is ended. Let's see what is missed. We have div tag. We have div tag. Div tag. Div tag. Div tag. So line number fifty-eight. Let's see what is in the fifty-eight. We have div tag. Okay, so here div tag is not started. Okay, we ended the age. Okay, so we are in this form. Let's try to put this whole form inside div tag with class name equal to container. and then let's see how it looks hmm let's remove this uh, horizontal part okay we need this horizontal okay let's see now so maybe here form name i will say profile we are updating the profile and we have this information okay so this looks good and now what i will do i will put everything in the state 
I will put everything in the state and then I will update it. So first will be email. Initially it will be null. Next will be display name. It'll be null. Page null. Tender null. What is favorite food? Null. Again, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have the five things and five here. And here I will say component dead mount. <coughs> so here it's a component dead mount. So where I will call the Firebase, and I will get the all the fields. So let's see how to create the, how to call the Firebase. So in the Firebase, I go to the Reserves container and I will, I want to grab how we took the Firebase part. Let's take the, let's go where, where we did. This is the Firebase part, okay, let's see. Yeah, this is the part we took the Firebase. Uh, let's take this one and put it in the component dead mount. And I'll take the Firebase part from here and put it here. And here I will create a URL. So what will be the URL we have to Take it and uh, let's open the create one. If you see, if I don't get the user ID, I send the user back to the home page because we want to only update the profile if user is logged in. So same thing which we will do here. We will we will put this. We will get the user ID from UID from the user uh, local storage, and if we don't get then we send the user to home page and I'll return it. I don't want to go. And if user is logged in, we need to we need to use that information. Okay, so we have users inside user we have the user ID and we get all the information and we will update here. So so I have to go to the URL of the Firebase plus I'll go to the users. So here I'll go to the users and inside user I have to go to UID. So that will be the UID will be this one. And then I will create a reference of the URL and then I will make it first I will make it reference dot off so before we use on we will use reference dot off so that uh, so that when we when we do reference dot off so that uh, it should not create many instance of the reference and here I will say reference dot. Now I will use once or uh, one on. I will do it later, but right now let's keep it once is okay. Later on we will see if we need to change it to on or once. I will keep right now once, but I will 
change it to on if I needed it. So if I keep once, I don't need off. Once is fine. And then here I will say snapshot. And let's see what comes in the snapshot. Okay, let's see now. And now what we will do, I have console.log snapshot is snapshot.wall. Let's check it. Okay, we get error. So we have four, which should be actually HTML for in the field. So here, whenever wherever we get for, we have to replace with HTML for because uh, for does not work with React one. So we need to replace with HTML for. Let's refresh it now. And what is the problem? Checked. Okay, that we will handle it now. Let's see what is coming in the snapshot. So snapshot is coming with this detail. And so before we really use this part, let's try to make every field with the uh, things which we do always. We will make a value equal to this dot state dot email on change equal to create an arrow function. And we will pass the event and I will say this dot set state email is equal to colon p e dot target dot value. So every time we will change the state. Let's see now. And I will print out the state to see. It is this dot state. We will fix this error in a minute. So first let's see if I am able to change it. So I'm able to change the email. Let's do this for everything now. So let's do it for or uh, display name. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, let's do this for this one also. value equal to this dot state dot gender on change this dot set state dot gender equal to this let's see if uh, this is working or no. So input should not be null. Okay, so this input should not be null. So let's make it empty initially. Okay, so now one more field we forgot, line number 61. It's label for, label for. Line number 67. 
label for okay now errors are gone and now let's see what field is remaining I change this to this one is not changing so we'll come back to this radio button again this one is changing and is changing hmm. so uh, we will come back to this part in some few minutes let's come back to this in few minutes And then let's put it here. Let's copy this and we'll put it here. Page. And last one is this one. Favorite four. And for this, I will call some another function. Let's create a function gender check. We are checking the gender. Let's create a function. And here I will pass E. And uh, I will just see what is coming in the E. Log E is E. And whenever user clicks this, on <clears throat> on uh, change equal to this dot in the check dot bind this and we'll do here I will put it here let's see now what is coming for the I click this one and I get E. E as a target and target has okay I don't see anything okay let's see what is coming here E E dot target. Let's see what is coming in the target. Okay. Target dot value. So if I click this one, it's coming male. If I click this one, it's coming female. Okay, it's coming only once, not again and again. So what if I make this on click? Instead of change, let's change it to on click. So if I this male, female, male, female, male, female. Okay, so this on click looks good. And let's copy. Let's copy this part here rather than we create a function. So I will say this dot set state gender is equal to e target dot value. Same thing I'll do and copy it here. Now let's see what is the state. So the state is male. State is female. So this is good. So here we have to use on click rather than on change. And we have every information. Now when user click the update profile, we should update it in the Firebase. And before even we have to update these fields with whatever there is in the Firebase. So initially display name is this. I would like to display name this one whichever we have in the firebase so let's do that so we get this information here 
in the snapshot and we will update the state based on the snapshot value. So let's keep the snapshot value in the var record is equal to snapshot dot value. And then I will update the state value based on this one. So I will say this dot set state. And here I will update all the JSON object. For example, email. I will say email will be record dot email. And like this, I will make all the changes. Display name will be record dot display name. Age will be record dot age. Gender will be gender. And favorite food will be favorite food. This is the information we will get from the Firebase. So you will see, okay, favorite food is not coming correctly. Because I did not put favorite food, then also it's showing favorite food because I I put by mistake value as a display name, it should be favorite food. So in the Firebase, I have only display name. That's why I am able, able to get display name. Here I don't see email also. So I'm not getting email here also. So now what I will do, I will get the email from the user. When user fill all the information, we will call one function. That function will be on submit equal to this dot form submit. I'll create a function this dot form submit dot bind is let's create one function that will be form submit and here i will say i will pass the e and here i will say e dot prevent default and then i will let's remove this function and let's see what is coming in the state so we have to update in the firebase so to update in the firebase we use and uh, we use a url and then we use this kind of information so we have to use this information so i get the url url will be nothing but the same like this so let's put this part also here and i'll get the url like this and then I, I will create one object. Object will be var obj is equal to this dot state. So all the state values will go into the object. And I will say Firebase database dot reference dot URL. URL will be this one. And here now I don't want to use state. If I use state, it will it will override the information. Let's say it will delete the created date because we don't have created date here in this part. So it will delete the created date and it will only say whatever is present here, which I don't want. I want only these fields to be updated and rest all fields remain, should remain as it is. So photo URL should be as it is, profile URL should be as it is. So if I use state, it will delete all the old thing and it will only update this file information. So instead of state, we have to use update. Update will only update these five fields and rest all will remain same. So I will say update with this object. So I am getting this URL and updating with this object. So this is the difference between set and update. Update will update only these fields, not other fields. It will not touch any other field like created date, photo URL, profile UID, provider ID, UID. It will only update display name and it will add other fields if it is not there. So let's see how it looks now. Okay, there is some error. Okay, what it's saying, line number 64. Hmm, it's saying something.
class name okay let's remove required for now let's see we're getting the same error so oh, there is something missing here what is the problem id type is text enter email hmm. okay let's fig figure out this thing in some time okay maybe because it is undefined that's the reason it is it is showing this problem so if i pass or empty string Let's see if go. Okay, so no error is gone because of undefined. I was getting the error. So what I did when I get record from the Firebase, I put if email is present, then use the email. Otherwise, or use empty string. If display name is present in the Firebase, use that. Otherwise, use empty string. If age is present in the Firebase, use age. Otherwise, use empty string. So like this, I created the string to be updated. Now I will update my email. I will update gender. I will update age, and I will update a favorite food. So maybe I can say any. I'll click update. On the screen, nothing happens. We have to give some information on the screen, but let's see here it is updated or not. Which is this ID? Okay, so this is the ID. I see age is updated, favorite food, gender, and all is updated. Now, if I refresh it, I am getting all the information back except this part. Except this part, we are not getting it. So we need to figure out this part. Let's see. We are getting some some uh, warnings, which we will see later on. We'll not see now. So first, let's see. When I click update, I should show some alert message or something on the screen. So maybe I can I can give some message here that it is updated. So I can say let's go to React Bootstrap. And I'll go to the docs examples. Let's use, uh, let's try to use this one. Okay, right now. I will not give the message because it will take some time. So I, I don't want to do right now more than this, what we did now. So maybe, maybe you can, uh, maybe you can, uh, or we will do this on Monday. We will try to put some alert message and we will also try to figure out why this is not getting updated, we will fix this part also. And if you have time, just try to figure out why, what change we have to do to make this initially checked to the mail. Right now it's not coming checked to mail. So try to figure out wh what is the wrong, what change we have to do in this one so that it should allow the, it should show the, you know, uh, checked, Initially, it should be checked. So maybe you can 
you can uh, work on this one and see okay because because value is i give male and female okay and let me let me do it here now because i figured out now what is the problem so in the value i will say this dot state dot no this one is not right okay so you figure out otherwise i will i will also see what change we need to do to make this work is that okay so figure out what is the problem what change we need to do this in data button so that it should in when i refresh the page since it is mail in the database so it should show mail as a default check so check what change you need to be done and try to do that one otherwise i will do it on monday